Yeah, those students coming out in numbers. In fact, the massive crowd blocking the entrance of CPS headquarters, demanding to be included in talks when it comes to their own safety. Hundreds of CPS students taking their frustration to district headquarters downtown, pleading to have a seat at the table during negotiations with the Chicago Teachers Union and Mayor Lori Lightfoot and CPS amid COVID concerns in the classrooms. Students wanting to go back remote. Only students know what Pete students say. Julian High School freshman and organizer of the group CPS Radical Youth Alliance, Caitlin Savato, leading the charge of students. They began with a walkout at 1230 with students from at least 20 CPS schools, including at Curry and Solorio Academy High Schools, joining the effort. I think it shows a multitude of things. I think specifically it shows that young people, specifically our black and brown young people in Chicago, um, have not been considered, our humanity has not been considered for a very, very long time. This comes as the city reached an agreement with CTU this week after the district canceled classes for nearly a week when teachers demanded to go remote. The city agreed to expand its testing of students, more PPE, and metrics for individual schools that would trigger a pivot to remote learning, but these students say those precautions don't go far enough to keeping them safe, including what they say is failed COVID testing. They stopped doing it. Kids be coming in with COVID and stuff. We don't know. This afternoon, CPS releasing a statement in response saying, in part, quote, school administrators will review the student concerns and work with the district to address them. It is not teachers who are sitting in these desks. It is not administrators who, are, and it is definitely not. Hold on, definitely not Mayor Lori Lightfoot sitting at his desk, correct? It is us, or these people that you see behind me, correct? Who are sitting in these desks who know what we need. And today's walkout in Chicago coming after another one happened in Boston today and in New York City earlier in the week. We're live at CPS headquarters. I'm Trey Ward, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.